I shine the light of insight with this mic I hold. I invite your minds to dine on the rhymes I'll show. But before we take the time to recite our poems, I welcome you to Arizona. Feel right at home. Yes. Here in a Z golden key, we thank you for being here, especially in the midst of a controversy surrounding an infamous bill known as SB 1070. But before you judge us or stereotype, we want to give you a history of what makes our estate so special. So tell me. Is the sun rising or setting? Yo, do not allow this unsettling entity, SB 1070, lessen your perceptions, rejecting all that is meant to be. We're steadily forgetting our history and its memories, replacing it with MSNBC and N and MTV. So please don't consume the news as sound bites. I diffuse and kill lies and make the burial right. When I tear mics, you feel like the stereo bites. You start to marginalize when you stereotype. So understand, there's more than what appears on the surface. Please spare me your ears till they're clear with discernment. You must learn the history lying behind the furnace called Phoenix, Arizona. It's about time you heard it. So tell me. History. So let me take you back to the first century AD when the Hahokam natives lived in the place that we now call Phoenix AZ. And back then it was still hot and dry, and yet the Hokum natives did something that was amazing for their time. They built a system of canals that rivaled the ancient Egyptians' irrigation system. And so they brought water to this land, and where there was once nothing, they brought community. And though they are not here any longer, they left a legacy. You see, pioneers later rediscovered these canals, and they used them again in the very same way that they used to. And so it did not only bring community, but became a place for diversity. You see, white and Mexican settlers came together around the canals, and a city that is now known as Tempe. And so the legacy of the Hohokam natives show us that racial solidarity doesn't have to be a historical memory. It can be a present day reality. Listen, before Arizona's inception, this land was built under unity. Beauty manifested in tradition of community. Diversity synonymous with tolerance, equality. That's far from the concept of dominating colonies. No hatred. We know the Hohokam natives built flowing canals, establishing civilizations. And several years later, pioneers found traces of a city so famous so they came and remade it. And history conveys their technology of ancient was equivalent to Egyptian systems of irrigation. And later when the white and brown man came in, the legacy is a city known as Tempe. They collaborated. So tell me. Is the sun rising or setting? So the future, what of the future of Arizona? We must look no further than our own state flag. You see, the flag depicts a star which represents to us the sun. And that leads us back to our original question. Is the sun rising or setting over Arizona? So let me tell you, just as we go back to the past, let me take you back to an ancient tradition. Jewish scripture tells us of a holy prescription. It says, if you have true concern for your community, do this. Feed the poor and the needy. Seek out justice for those who are in captivity. And when you do this, the sun will rise over your land. Your dry and scorched desert will become like a watered garden. And your systems of water will never go dry. And so as we look back at our history, we must remember where we came from. We are a state that came out of community marked by diversity. And that is who we are. So we must know our history because it is our golden key to a bright hope for tomorrow. In conclusion, it's time we flee the illusion and shine to be the solution. So seek to it, we seek truth, and I don't need no excuses. And according to the scripture, the only way to do this is by feeding the needy and freeing them from abuses. By speaking for justice, rain relief to the dying. So now the hatred is declining while the phoenix is flying. I'll be emphasizing that it's time we start finding the truth that's in hiding. 
Samin, the sun is rising. Thank you.